Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a game yesterday night. The Field of Dreams was crazy. Tim Anderson walks it off with a two-run shot. The Yankees win. I mean, the Yankees lose 8-7. to seven. The White Sox win 8-7. to seven. Crazy game. Homers were flying into the corn. We were having a great time. Baseball game of the year. Come on now. It's the game of the year. But that's not what I want to talk about. The game was amazing. The corn was amazing. It was just a great, like, thing with the whole, like, movie, the whole Kevin Costner thing. Like, I loved it. I loved it, being a fan of the movie. But I'm talking about ESPN, Bleacher Report, the biggest sports media companies. Look, ESPN, Sports Center, and Bleach Report are the three biggest sports pages, you could say, on Instagram. What if I told you, out of those three biggest sports pages, they should post a lot about one of the biggest sports games of the year, right? And especially, it's not just like a close, really good back-and-forth game. It was also like the Field of Dreams game. Like, it's a special event for a special movie. You get one post from the three biggest one post from the three biggest sports media pages. None of the home runs. Well, I would say Tim Anderson's home run deserved to be a top 10 play on ESPN. Nothing from the game was a top 10 play. Like, are you seriously kidding me? ESPN has been terrible. Like, how long can you say, oh, Jordan versus LeBron. Oh, who's going to be better? Like, sure, your, some of your debates are cool. But at this point, you guys just put out. Terrible stuff so you can get clicks on Twitter. So you can get clicks. You just want the money. You're greedy, ESPN. Disney, you're greedy. Admit it. Bleach Report, they write articles. The articles are actually pretty good. They have some good writers. Their page, uh, post more about the Field of Dreams game. Like, do you not know how crazy that game was? Jose Abreu hit that first. MLB Homer in Iowa into the corn. That was great. If you're a real baseball fan, if you actually like, this was a great game for you. Game of the year. Game, like I said, it's a game of the year. And these networks need to stop. They need to post more. Like, how long can we have these stupid little debates with Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman? I love those two guys, but Stephen A. Smith has no clue what he's talking about baseball. He knows maybe stuff about the 90s and 2000s Yankees. Other than that, he has no clue what he's saying. Have you heard what he's been saying about Shohei? He said it's bad for baseball that Shohei needs an interpreter. Why does it matter what language he can speak? The fact that he could speak great English, he just needs an interpreter because sometimes he doesn't feel the most comfortable. Also, he can speak Japanese very, very well. Have we talked about that? He can speak Japanese very, very well, and he's a great player. It doesn't matter where you're from. He's a great, great player. Like, who doesn't love Shohei Otani? Like, this is the type of stuff ESPN is, like, I don't care. Like, it's literally the NBA offseason. Or it's like NFL preseason. NBA Summer League is cool. But NFL preseason is getting more posted than August baseball. Heading into, heading into playoff baseball. This is, like, the biggest time of the year. Trade deadline just finished. Post some more baseball. Like, come on, man. One total post from those three pages. This is just pissing me off like crazy and just sad. And people say, oh, baseball is dying. The young fans don't like it. Let me tell you something right now. The young fans love it. If MLB TV ends blackouts, baseball is going crazy. Iowa can't see six teams. The state of Iowa until this game. I mean, I don't even know if they could. This game is on national TV, but the state of Iowa couldn't watch the six closest teams, the Cubs, the White Sox, the Twins, the Brewers, the Cardinals, the Royals. It's not like, okay, maybe we'll block out the Cubs, but then you have all the other five teams, so only Cubs fans and I will get affected, but still. All six teams? Like, tell me how many Iowa fans of the Tampa Bay Rays there will be compared to Iowa fans of those six teams, you know what I'm saying? So, that's just bad for baseball. If we end blackouts forever... If they end blackouts, baseball is on a new level. Baseball is going crazy. And that's because of Fernando Tatis. That's because of Vlad McGurin Jr. That's because of Shohei Otani. All those guys were going crazy. Bryce Harper is having an absolute heck of a second half. We'll talk about that later. And Juan Soto is killing the game. So, baseball is hot on the streets. It's extremely hot on the streets. It's sizzling. 
It's on fire! And the big sports media companies are not willing to talk about it, which is just terrible. And they're just there for the cl clicks, the money, the engagements. That's all they care about. They don't care about what's actually good in sports, what you actually should talk about. They don't care about actual stats. They just care about what's value for them based off their face. Like, even in, as a basketball fan, I love basketball. And LeBron and Jordan are just all your debates that you have. Use more stats. Use more stats. Don't just be like, oh, with my own two eyes, I saw him do this, 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 and add some long words in there, bro. Like, talk more with stats, because stats show the bigger picture. It's not just about what you see from your eyes. It's about what the numbers say as well. I know the numbers aren't appealing to the casual fan, but they are a big thing of, like, what's who's actually good, who's not. Why is this guy better than this guy? And there's stats that can accumulate for era. Like, 90s is the toughest basketball era. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a stat. I don't know fully, but in baseball, there's some era stats. In basketball, there should be a stat, like, for era. I'm not fully sure. I haven't really done my research, but this is just pretty much a rant. Subscribe. It was Six Man Sports. I'm saying that at the outro. But subscribe. Have a great issue every day. I'll be seeing you all soon. Bye. Anderson hits it in the air. Well, you can throw the party, but you never know how it's going to turn out. That's <laughs> unreal. And how about six runs on the board in the ninth inning alone, and the White Sox with a walk-off 9-8 win. This was some kind of night for baseball. It sure was, and the most energetic guy on the team ends up winning it and letting everybody know about it. As soon as he made contact, he knew it was gone. And a what a game. Takes a winner out of Hendricks, a loser out of Britain. Now this just was a good matchup for the way that Tim Anderson likes to hit, and he gets the barrel of the bat down to the ball in the low part of the zone about as good as anybody. And